Moorish Meats produces 50,000 pounds of beef a day for restaurants and supermarkets around the country and export internationally. Their product line includes fine cuts of beef, hamburger patties and a lot more. It's critical they keep their large refrigerated facilities just above freezing 24 hours a day. This requires a gigantic amount of power. But the company has an aggressive green policy just to keep power costs lower. Their latest endeavor was to install over 800 solar panels on the roofs of their five buildings, generating a substantial amount of power to offset their usage and, of course, save money. I love these Oregon families like yours. Wow. There's a lot of you guys around that have really kind of developed businesses over 50, 60 years, but it's all built around family. Well, you that doesn't happen in Europe you very often. start with the family, you have to do something. I worked seven years as a physicist for the government before I got into this business. Right. And uh, I loved my job with the government, but this I love the business. like. It, it's another child. It's the big, biggest child. He still comes in six days a week at 88 years of age. I hasten to add that might be a lesson for some of our young people in this country. Oh. That is a lot of solar panel. Yep. What on earth made you even think about it? Uh, as a manufacturer with a lot of electricity that we have to buy and all those big bills, we're looking to save anywhere we can. Doing something like this is not cheap. It's very expensive up front, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in your sensible sound business, it's been around a long time. Try to be. <laughs> that don't make crazy financial decisions. So what is the bottom line with this? It costs a lot of money to put in, but does it actually pay you back? When uh, the sun's run running right, we are going to basically provide up to 30 to 35% of our power needs with this array. Not just this, but the ones on the rest of our buildings. We're totally sold on the technology. The panels that we have are the latest. They're 245 watt panels. We have 845 of them total on this facility. This is a, quite an array and we're very proud of what we're able to do here. Life expectancy? 30 to 50 years. Wow, what have we got here, Willie? Well, by the time uh, we're all done with this room, uh, we're gonna have all of our DC coming from the solar cells themselves. From from here, right? Coming through these conduits uh, into uh, disconnect and then into the inverters. And this is where it all happens to go from the solar cells into and out of uh, to your toaster at home. Is it efficient? Uh, it's about 90 to 99 percent efficient. Wow. So, so, and this is a really small room. Very small room. A hell of a lot of power. Right? Yes, exactly. There's 207 so, kilowatts between those on those panels. How much? 207 kilowatts. You could fry a lot of you could fry a lot of eggs with that. Yeah. Or heat a lot of houses, or watch a lot of TV. Jeez. So inverter power comes in, then it goes over this side, right? Yep. What's and this here? This is another inverter. There's three different inverters on this system to be able to hold all or to transfer all that energy back into uh, the panels. Uh, from the panels to the uh, outside circuit. Oh my gosh, and this is where the power goes into the building, right? Correct. Well, actually it goes into a surface that transforms it to either go into the building or out to the grid. So by the time we're not using all of the power that we're generating on a nice sunny day, um, we can run our equipment or we can run the grid. So you can watch TV while we're working. It's very cool. And this, this must be the master switch, right? That's one of them, yes. Yep. That's a, that's a way of breaking all your current. So that's off now, right? That's off right now. Okay. Probably better to stay that way for now. <laughs> you know, who would ever have thought that a business here in Oregon, 55 years old, these guys, they're going green. There's hope for us. There's hope for all of us. If grandpa here that founded the business can go green, so can you.